Hello everyone, welcome to video number two of All Signs. The first video is gonna be Aries through Cancer, all right? This video is going to be Leo through Pisces, all right? My apologies, but as I was doing the first video, somebody called me and the whole thing got cut off. But anyways, let's keep going. All right, so we're gonna start with Leo at, I'll say one minute here. Spirit, please speak to me in reference to the sign of Leo. What messages do you have for Leo? Hmm. All right, the Eight of Swords energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You don't have to be dealing with an air sign. I'm just telling you the energies of the card. All right, this feels to me like you're trapped, you're stuck. You can't stop thinking about something, all right? You can't get it off of your mind. You're trying to forget about a certain situation. It just feels very difficult to stop a connection or something spiritually is also going on. So it's like you need to pray a little bit more is what I'm getting. Tell me more about Leo. What messages do you have for the sign of Leo, please? Walking away. So you have to stop thinking negatively about a certain situation in order to have the peace that you're looking for. You're looking for peace, but you have to forget about a past situation that traumatized you. I feel like there's someone that you really want to get together with here or get along with. But the reason why you and this person are not getting along is because you're still holding on to something. It's like you feel you can't let something go, but you're gonna have to if you want to see progress in this connection with somebody, all right? That's what I'm getting, because I have the Eight of Cups to the Two of Cups, so there's somebody that you want to reconnect with or make things better with, but if you keep thinking negatively, you're gonna stay feeling stuck, okay? So tell me more. Spirit, tell me more about Leo, talk to me about Leo, please. Page of Wands energy. There's a conversation, a message, messaging about something. What is this message about? The Ten of Cups, you're looking for happiness. You want to be with the person that makes you happy. I see you making the sacrifices and changing the way that you think. And you're not gonna do it for anybody else. You're gonna do it for yourself because you're realizing that this pattern, this way of thinking, it's not working for you anymore. And so it's like you're gonna challenge yourself to communicate differently, to be more understanding or compassionate towards a certain energy so that the problem can be fixed because I feel like you tell yourself that you can't resolve this. You absolutely can, all right? If you keep telling yourself that you can't, then you won't, but this will be fixed, okay? And it's because you're gonna change your perspective and that's all you need to do. So let's clarify this two of cups energy for Leo. Please talk to me. We have Virgo with the hermit energy here. All right, so some of you guys could be dealing with a Virgo or somebody that's kind of gone quiet. Maybe you stopped communicating as much as you know you used to. There's something, um, somebody is just really keeping to themselves. Tell me more for Leo. Queen of Wands. Yeah, this is your energy here. I really see you and this person coming back together. That's the narrative here. That's the main focal point. It's going to work. Just change your mind and cliche, right? Change your mind, change your life. That simple. All right, that's what I have for you, Leo. Let's move on to Virgo. At 4.56.
Spirit, please talk to me about Virgo. What messages do you have in reference to Virgo? The Knight of Swords energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So there's this air sign or there's an energy that wants to talk to you right away. Okay, let's put it like that. Talk to me about the Knight of Swords. This is Apostle St. Jude, in case you're wondering. For some reason, I'm being told to have you look up St. Jude. Hmm. Talk to me about... The Knight of Swords. Why do we have the Knight of Swords for the Three of Wands in reverse? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person doesn't want to wait anymore. Whoever it is that you're dealing with, Virgo. They don't want to wait. They want answers now. And someone's very impatient, okay? to talk to you. Tell me more about Virgo. Tell me more about Virgo, please. What message is this air sign that you're dealing with? This person, they're very guarded and blocked off, okay? Very, very blocked off. Eight of swords, two of swords. Someone's really hurt by you is what I'm getting here, okay? I feel like this person is upset about something, but then they wanna talk to you. So they have to choose, you know, how they want to move forward here. Cause how are you gonna wanna talk to somebody but then be blocked off, right? Hmm. Tell me more for Leo. Leo, I don't even know why I said Leo. Forgive me. Maybe you're dealing with a Leo. We have the Emperor, Aries. Coming out here. Why do we have the Emperor? Why do we have Aries here? Why do we have King of Cups for the Emperor? Somebody's in love with the person that is giving them a hard time. I don't know if someone's giving you a hard time. I don't know if you're giving somebody else a hard time. Somebody just doesn't want to stop here. They don't want the connection to be over. All right? Tell me more. Tell me more about this emperor. Hmm. The nine of wands. At 11, 11, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You got some choices to make, Virgo. This is up to you, all right? This is definitely up to you. You have communication coming in. Somebody is wanting to talk to you and they don't want to wait. That's what I'm getting. They don't want to wait. All right, that's what I have for you, Virgo. Let's move on to Libra. At 9.16. Spirit, please talk to me about... Hmm. Libra. Is there a Pisces in your life? Okay. I feel like you're thinking or making a plan or, you know, what's on your mind, Libra? Talk to me about what Libra is thinking about, please. What is this Pisces energy?
Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Why do I keep getting this energy of you moving or wanting to move? Or there's like travel. Some of you are thinking about a fire sign as well. An Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. Tell me more about Libra and this person or situation. Yeah. More fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Has somebody grown distant? Are you concerned with somebody's distance here? I feel like there's a celebration that this other person is going to be having or there's something festive here. It's on your mind, okay? Something's heavily on your mind. Tell me more about what's on Libra's mind. You see? Movement, moving, getting away. Maybe you need a break. I travel by myself sometimes. I had the best time of my life by myself in Puerto Rico, by myself. Everybody thought I was crazy. My mom was like, what are you doing? My father was like, watch where you go. You're gonna get hurt. I'm like, Bobby, please, I'm an adult. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not an idiot. I was like, I'm gonna be good. You know what I mean? And um, I had the best time of my life in Puerto Rico, I tell you. I want to do it again. But anyway, somebody needs a break. They need to get away or you're moving somewhere. And then your energy is coming out here with the justice card. So it's like there's going to be peace here. Or maybe there's somebody that you need to squash it with. Okay. Was there like a recent, you know, argument or something. It's like somebody wants peace. Tell me more. The Nine of Pentacles. Somebody just wants to be left alone. Who is this Nine of Pentacles? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Now we have even more Sagittarius energy. What is going on here? Talk to me about the temperance. Oh, you got somebody, you got a fire sign that is mad at you or something? Is there a fire sign? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius? Hmm. Or, tell me more. You feel left out by somebody because this person that you feel left out by, they're thinking about you, okay? They think of you. It's like they're concerned with you is what I'm getting. It doesn't have to be a fire sign, but there's somebody that is concerned that you think that they never cared or something like that when they do. I feel like they might have made some poor choices, but they feel bad about what they did. Let's put it like that. All right, so that's what I have for you, Libra. Let's move on to Scorpio. At 1421. Spirit, please talk to me about Scorpio. What messages do you have for Scorpio? What messages do you have for Scorpio, please? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and communication. There's an earth sign that either you want to communicate with or 
this person is communicating with you is what I'm getting here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Then we have fire, energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But I feel like this earth sign holds on to you. Okay. Very, very private topic. It's like whenever your name comes up or whenever a conversation with you comes up, you know, it's like they take this very personally. All right. You have somebody protecting you, basically. They want to protect the situation is what I'm getting. We got Pisces now. Is there a Pisces that you know, Scorpio? So you have an earth sign, you got a Pisces here that are very overprotective of your energy. Let's put it like that. Tell me more. You got more than one option for sure. That's the Wheel of Fortune. So that's even more Pisces energy, okay? And a little bit of Sagittarius. Somebody views you as their good luck. It's like you're somebody's fortune. The Page of Swords. Yeah, somebody watches you. <laughs> I just feel you're very, very protected is what I'm getting, okay? Tell me more. The Page of Swords. Pisces. A whole lot of Pisces. You know what's crazy is that I'm doing this reading and I just heard something upstairs. I'm hearing something over there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't get scared when it comes to spirits because I'm protected. You know, this is St. Jude, Apostle St. Jude. Read about him. You know what I mean? Like, I bring positive energies around me. And so... You don't have to get scared, all right? I think that there could be some fear, Scorpio. You don't have to. It's okay. You know what I mean? You have options here. And a lot of it seems like protection. A lot of Pisces energy, okay? Tell me more. Strength, you see what I mean? You have the strength. You're gonna be okay. You just need people to tell you that and reassure you. You know, sometimes you can get wrapped up in what's going on and it's hard for you to stop thinking about it. But if you have someone who constantly reassures you that things are gonna get better, then you'll be fine. You'll be fine. All right, that's what I have for you, Scorpio. Let's move on to Sagittarius at 1835. Spirit, please talk to me about Sagittarius. Talk to me about Sagittarius, all right. This is Apostle Saint Jude, by the way. So look him up, read about him. For some reason, I've had to reference to him about three times. One time for you, once for Scorpio, and one time for Virgo, okay? So maybe you're dealing with someone from those signs, I don't know. Anyway, the three of wands in reverse. So what do you want to do? Because I feel like you don't want to wait on something anymore and you don't want to wait. That's what I'm getting. It's like, no, I'm not waiting anymore. You don't want to wait on something. Okay, what's that all about for Sagittarius? Talk to me about Sagittarius. What is this three of wands in reverse? You don't want to wait to come together with somebody. 
You don't want to wait. Why do I keep saying that? It's like I, I have to keep saying that. Maybe you need to hear it. Tell me more. What is the Three of Cups? There's somebody Sagittarius. Can't wait to see. Or who is this energy? What is the... Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy with the five of pentacles here. So you want to see somebody that you left out or feels left out by you? Did you kick this person out of your life? Did they kick you out of their life? Or did you both do the same thing? Hmm. You don't want to wait to see this person anymore. You just want to, you want to pull up. You want to have a conversation. You want to talk. But you don't want to talk about the smoke. You don't want to talk about like the problems or, you know, you don't want to explain yourself. You feel like you don't have to. That's the thing with you. You feel like you don't have to get into details. I think it's time to get into details. Yep. Yep. I think it's time. Now, tell me more about the Five of Pentacles for Sagittarius. It's a very emotional topic, huh? It's very secret, under wraps, nobody knows about this topic with, with how you feel about this person. Is this hurting your feelings in some way? Like, is this, uh, is, what did this person do? Because I feel like they've gotten to you in a way that is hard for you to escape. It's like you feel bad about something, you know? And you don't wanna feel bad about it anymore, but it it's, it's stressful, it's, hurtful, you dream with it, you feel like you can't escape it. Tell me more. For Sag. Yeah, you're in love with this person. So then don't, my best advice is to not hold back from what it is that you want. Don't do it. You don't want to do that. You want to live up to your truest intentions. Okay? If there's somebody that you want, you have to go and get it. If you want a result, you have to put in work. That's what I get here. I feel like you both feel the same. You're probably very, very much alike, actually. Right? Both stubborn, both hard-headed, both all of those things. Hmm. Especially if you have, like, a fixed sign in your chart, like Leo or Taurus. All right, that's what I have for you, Sagittarius. Let's move on to Capricorn. At 2409. Spirit, please talk to me about the sign of Capricorn. Talk to me about Capricorn, please. Talk to me about Capricorn. Okay. Queen of Swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Why do we have this Queen of Swords energy here for Capricorn? The 
the five of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Did you say something to someone that may have offended them or did they do that to you? Because I feel like somebody made the other person feel like they weren't wanted or that they didn't have enough of something. Someone could have done this to you. There could have been like movement. Someone could have had to move or um, it's just, I feel like this harsh energy. I don't know if someone was recently harsh with you or if you were harsh with somebody else, but that's what I'm getting here. Tell me more about Five of Pentacles. Talk to me about the Five of Pentacles. The Tower with Scorpio energy. I feel like there might have been a disagreement between you and somebody. Like, I feel something went wrong. Someone was told to leave. The Tower is disruption, transformation, somebody changing. This is something that happened that was unexpected. This is also Scorpio energy. Tell me more. Talk to me about the tower, please. Talk to me about seven of wands. Yeah, there's a battle here. Who's fighting? What is the drama about? Spirit, please talk to me. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Pisces, energy. It's like somebody's fighting for what they want. If someone wants to fight for that. The Knight of Swords in reverse. I feel like there's an air sign here that's got a problem. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Somebody can't stop thinking about you. But it's like they don't know how to treat you either is a part of the problem. You don't like the way somebody treats you. Let's see here. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, there's something that recently was very disruptive here. What's the outcome? What's the outcome? Virgo, Leo, and there's an earth sign here that, hmm, I don't know if you're dealing with another earth sign, all right? A Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. There's something that you're saying no to. Let's put it like that. All right, that's what I have for you, Capricorn. Let's move on to Aquarius. Spirit, please talk to me about Aquarius. Wait a minute, let me write the time down. 2844. 44. 44. All right. Spirit, please talk to me about. Aquarius, talk to me about Aquarius. Talk to me about Aquarius, please. Two of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy coming out here. There's somebody that you're celebrating with, going out somewhere with. Something seems romantic, all right? Happy birthday. It is your birthday season, so that's probably what's going on. You're probably planning a trip somewhere with your significant other. Victory. Very nice with Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And then the Four of Cups. If you're dealing with a water sign, a Cancer, a Scorpio, or a Pisces, I feel like this person could be a bit depressed you're feeling that and you want to help 
this individual, okay? You want to help the person that feels left out. You know who that is in your life. Not all of these readings are in reference to a lover. You have to be able to pick up the metaphor. It's an intellectual game, okay? So there's someone very emotional in your life and I feel like you're moving towards them to assist them. But that's what you are best at, right? You're a humanitarian. You're known for helping people, right? Your job title has a lot to do with assisting others, primarily most of the time. There's not many Aquarians, okay? Out of all the zodiac signs, I believe you guys are like, you're rare. Let's see. Yeah, out of all the zodiac signs, you have the least. There's less Aquarians than anything else. I think that's a good thing, right? Tell me more. Five of Swords, though. You don't trust somebody? Is there some situation you don't trust? Who's this family or these two people? You don't trust these two people? Why? Because they act like they're better than everybody else? Is that what it is? Hmm. It's not a competition. This person is always competing. Why? Right? Hmm. I feel like someone's trying to compete, but they can't. They can't compete with you. What See, you're a very authentic individual. You don't feel the need to hide shit. You don't brag about shit. You don't have to. Aquarians don't. Like even, Sometimes people say you're a little too quiet, but it's because you don't need to overdo it. You don't. There's somebody around you that overdoes it, right? And it's somebody that's like really influential in your family. And so they need to listen to you. I don't know who it is, but it's because when you speak up, you're not playing. Because you don't talk for nothing. You're not one of those people that just fucking gets into conversations for nothing. It's like when you're speaking, motherfuckers need to listen. You know what I mean? Excuse my language, but... That's what I'm getting here. Excuse me, St. Jude, right? Forgive me, right? Over here, Apostle St. Jude. Now, let's get another Pisces. I don't know who Pisces is here for you. Somebody's too quiet about this celebration. We got Sagittarius here. Ten of Cups, Capricorn Energy. Oh, goodness. Something's not going to go well. Who Who's the Ten of Cups with in this family here? Ten of Cups, Capricorn Energy to the Ten of Cups. That's not a good combination. Somebody fronting. Who's fronting? That's what this feels like. I don't feel like it's you. There's somebody in your family or around you or a friend or somebody's fronting and it's a lie. It's it's a big lie. All right, that's what I have. Let's move on to Pisces. Thirty-four sixteen. Last one. All right. Spirit, please talk to me about Pisces. The strength card. So you have to be strong right now, all right? That's the focus. Why is that? Talk to me about why Pisces has to be strong. Because you feel left out. There's something that's lacking. It could be in money. It doesn't have to be. But 
you feel alone, you feel lonely, you feel that sometimes you don't have anybody. Even if you do have people, you feel like they're invisible, that nobody's there, that they're not listening. Okay, but the best advice I can give you is to not isolate, look for support. I know that it's very hard for you to do that because you're an introvert. So you just don't like to step out and you know talk to everybody about your personal problems you know, but maybe the person that you need to look for is not a family member and it's somebody else that you can vent to, right? Talk to me about Pisces. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, you feel stuck, trapped, or somebody feels trapped here? Talk to me about Seven of Cups, there's just too much going on, right? It's just too many things at once. What is the Seven of Cups for Pisces? Tell me more. All right, so you have to go and talk to somebody. That's what this is. You got to talk about this. There has to be some form of therapy for you, all right? Everybody has a different therapy. Some people like to write, some people like to paint, some people like to create music, other people like to get massages, I don't know. There's a form of therapy for you that's gonna make you feel a lot better. You're gonna look for it in the future because I see it here. The Knight of Cups to the Page of Pentacles. It could be a Virgo, a Capricorn, or a Taurus that you end up reaching out to, to talk to about this. But it has to be a comfort zone that you have. So it can't just be something random. You know, different therapies don't work for everybody. You know what I mean? It's just everybody is different. So people, you know, like tarot because that's their therapy that they chose other people like to um build things some people like to get into groups and uh talk about their problems you know some people like individual therapy everyone's different i feel like you need to find yours what is your type of therapy that you need because now the focus is on you it's like the spirit doesn't even want me to talk about anybody else but you. So the spirit is concerned and wants you to know that there is some type of help out here. Wow. <laughs> I've just been like, there's hearing noises all over the place here, but you know what? It's okay. There's protection. There's protection. You're going to be okay. Okay? I just have to keep saying that. All right, that's what I have for you, Pisces. I want to thank you for watching to book a private session. All of that info is below. Thank you and take care.